G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week we've got another Hot Wheels Red Line, a 1971 Evil Weevil, which is a Volkswagen Beetle obviously, with two what looks like Hemi engines in it. This one belonged to my other Uncle Phil, uh, I've got two, and this one's been sitting on my shelf for some time. Uh, at some stage the wheel broke off it, and I don't know where it went, so we're going to have to fix that somehow and uh, do all the normal usual stuff. So let's get crack a lacken, as they say in the industry. So you're gonna have to grind the posts flat before I can start to draw them out. The two engines are actually the posts for holding it all together, so uh, hopefully we can get them flat and tapped without destroying the bases of them. So with the body off we can see where that suspension piece is broken and the wheels have fallen off. Um, I guess we're going to have to remanufacture that or stick some kind of wheels back into it. The interior, uh, the steering wheel's poking up through this sunroof, um, which I'm surprised the sunroof itself hasn't gone missing or been broken. The interior glass is in actually really good shape. Uh, so that's good, that should clean up well. Now the interior. The steering wheel is meant to fold down and snap into the base but it won't. That's why the steering wheel is poking up through the sunroof. So a dob of glue will fix that once we've cleaned it up and got the spider eggs off it. So here's all our pieces, well the ones that we've got. <laughs> and just dremel the bases of these engines so I can thread and tap them to hold it all back together. Now I'm going to use the same technique I used with the special delivery and the uh, bifocal which is the gloss black base and a chrome molotov spray over the top. Now I tried using the clear coat mixed with some coloured ink and it didn't work. It went all funny. I've got the runs in it really bad. So I had to do this one a couple of times. Well I got there in the end. The second time I used you know, the gloss black molotov but I used some clear red, to me, acrylic paint over the top and that seemed to work best. I know I should invest in some of the uh, proper Spectraflame paint, uh, but I'm not sure if they'll post it. I've, I've got to look into it and stop wondering about it. <laughs> so this was attempt one. It was coming out like a really good bright pink colour and then it started running and started uh, going all kinds of wrong. So here it is stripped and redone and re-chromed again and uh, my second attempt at painting, which came out much better. Okay, so here I am trying to make the front wheel replacement hub. Now, as you know, these are an axle on a black disc and the cap wheel snaps over the top. So. I traced around the one original one I did have and I thought I'd go from there. So after I would got a circle pretty close I made an exact hole in the middle and I pin drilled through the pair of them and then I got a little axle. I stuck it through so I could hold them both in place with uh, a pair of pliers and I got my Dremel and I carefully went round and round until I got it smooth and a little disc of approximately the same size. You can thank my brother-in-law Shane for this exciting new camera angle because he came around to be introduced into the world of customs so we might highlight some of his that he did in another video. Um, so I got him to hold the camera while I did this so thanks Shane. So you can see here I've got it to pretty much exactly the right size. I'm going to cut a little a square of plastic and drill a hole in that as well uh, to stick in the middle just to fill it out a little bit like the original. I probably didn't need to do that, but anyway, I did. Cut a piece of sheet styrene to be the same size as the interior suspension piece 
and I drilled a hole through it with my pin vise, big enough to take these replacement uh, axle that I made and glued them in. I finally got around to get myself a wire brush uh, after seeing Martin of Martin Dare's Dinkies use one. They're brilliant. I've got a better finish out of this than the Dremel wire wheel, I think. So thanks for that. Now it's reassembly time. So you'll see here that I took off the replacement wheel I made because I made the axle a bit too long and the wheel stuck out too far and then I think I shortened it too much but that's okay, uh, it still looks good. some replacement number decals from Second Chance Redlines. I'm not sponsored by them, uh, but they're a good supplier with a quality product every time. So go check them out. It's about the finishing touch for this one. We're almost done. So here we are back at the start with our evil weevil, which looks like it's had some weevils or at least some spiders living in it. Um, this one was on my shelf for a long time because I didn't know quite how to tackle those wheels. I know you can get some replacements, but while the replacements aren't very expensive, the postage is. So I was left with no other option but to try and make my own. Uh, the paint was buggered, uh, but apart from that, uh, at least it was almost all there. All the important parts anyway. This is what we started with and this is what we're left with now. ba -da! I'm well pleased with how this one's come out with the shiny red paint. It's looking good. The only way I think the paint could be any better is if I'd used proper Spectraflame paint. Uh, but the colours are pretty close shade. It looks good with some replacement number nines and they've been put on straight this time seven year old Uncle Phil. Um, <laughs> I probably should have put them on crooked for authenticity maybe. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is what it looks like now. I hope you like this one guys and gals. So thanks for dropping by my little channel to check out my video. I know you know, everyone's, it's hard to get around to watching everybody's video every week, so I appreciate you all taking the time. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, click on my bald head there. You can be whisked away to PB Magic Land every Friday. Thanks to my old subscribers. Hi to all our new subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!